Um, I moved to Virginia because I reconnected with my high school sweetheart. We had some time apart and then found our way back together. Fun fact about me, um, I don't have any wisdom teeth. I was very grateful to not have to go through all of that and I still actually have a baby tooth. I really like to run um, and do yoga and be active and I have two dogs and a cat and um, they're like the greatest fur babies ever. <laughs> My daughter who is five has recently gotten to dance so I'm learning about the world of dance and recitals and endless practices and, and costumes and all that stuff so I'm enjoying that. One interesting fun fact is that I got married three years ago to my high school sweetheart after we've been separated for 32 years. And she brought cats with her, and I'd never had cats before. So truly a blended family. I have a dog named Coco. So despite being the ship supervisor, my dog is named Coco um, because we love sweet things. I was inspired to take on a leadership position um, by a former principal actually. I was a teacher and then uh, became a reading interventionist in that same school and that principal was one who encouraged me to pursue leadership. If it hadn't been for her I would never have even considered going into a leadership position at all. Um, and moving forward I really like to be able to believe that I have an impact on teachers and the staff that work with children and to be able to provide the best learning environment for everyone. We were looking to support the students in um, the life skills class to have materials to experience life skills with um, the washer and dryer that's similar to one that they would have at home or an apartment that they would live in independently one day and cooking um, you know with an oven and a stove previously they were doing things that didn't involve cooking with stoves and ovens and everything because they didn't have the materials, but we wanted it to be more realistic and applicable to life after school. Um, projects like this though touch my heart because it means a lot that these kids didn't have anything before and now they've got new opportunities here at this school. And it's I have kudos to Jamestown High School and, and to special education for putting this together and I'm just glad to see it happen. As a former military child, there's a lot of transitions that come being in a military family. You move schools quite a bit, you move to different places, maybe even different countries. There's just a lot of changes in day-to-day -day life and even month-to-month -month if your family member is deployed. So having that experience myself and then also working with students in schools and seeing the struggles they go through, I thought that pursuing the Purple Star would be the best way to provide some wraparound supports for students academically and socially emotionally as well as we progress them through their education to keep them on track. I didn't get involved in this until the decisions were already made to move forward with it, the guy who oversaw the installation of it all, but um, I know that this is something that the school had been looking for for a while and they really needed it, so I'm glad to see it happening. It's all about post-secondary kind of opportunities and opportunities outside the classroom. I think the what the staff here at Jamestown has done is provided that inside the classroom. Um, it's, it's wonderful to see this project come to fruition for the students to get this experience uh, because it's, it's something truly unique and, and magical. So we really appreciate Jamestown doing this. This project means that our students have an opportunity for real hands-on learning. They get to learn about healthy eating and nutrition and put what they learn into practice and even eat what they've created and enjoy it. And that's really exciting for us to help our students develop lifelong healthy skills. I have great staff members I love working with to really support these students and great students on a regular basis who want to try their best, who love coming to school and just want to see what they can be someday. All of that potential just it's really heartwarming and it keeps me going. One of the, the main pieces that I'm able to truly appreciate about WGCC is that it's small enough to be able to know everyone, but yet at the same time, it's large enough to be able to celebrate differences and to be able to, you know, get new ideas and, and throw ideas around with other people. We have two new counselors this year who have just come in with some great fresh ideas that really makes me take that next step in thinking about 
what new programs can we introduce, what new activities can we have, and just having that constant energy of thoughtfulness, consideration, kindness, and thinking about these students in a big picture as a whole that we only get them for a small period of time, and so making that time meaningful keeps me going to make sure that they get everything they can out of our school system to prepare them for whatever.